lot of career mothers would like to work and exclusively breastfeed their children for six months. However, that is not the case for many. This week on The Old Woman Show, I will be talking to Martha Kim Kung, who tells us her challenges when she was a new mother. Martha is also the founder of Career Mothers for Exclusively Breastfeeding Campaign. Meet 33-year-old Martha Kim Kung, a mother of two. Her youngest child is seven months old. And just like many new mothers out there, Martha was determined to exclusively breastfeed her child for six months. Once I gave birth, I reported back to work when the baby was two months. At this stage, this baby was very young and there's no way I could afford to give the baby milk formula or this normal milk. So I was determined to breastfeed the baby exclusively, despite coming back to work when the baby was two months. So what happened is that um, when I reported back to work, it used to be very hectic because I had to express milk in the office. I used to take so much time feeding, drinking so much so that I'm able to express milk for the baby. So what happened is that um, this was a day-to-day -day occurrence. I used to do this daily and it was very hectic. Um, so what happened is that uh, I used to keep uh, talking to my colleagues and telling them, I wish I worked for half day. I used to wake up at 3.30 every day in the morning. Um, when I wake up at 3.30, so that I'm able to breastfeed the baby before I leave, get ready for work, and at least have breakfast. Because you know when you're breastfeeding, definitely uh, you have to feed well. So that was a challenge, leaving home very early and uh, coming back uh, home slightly late. Exclusive breastfeeding means that the infant receives only breast milk. No other liquids or solids are given, not even water for at least six months. This is because breast milk contains all the nutrients an infant needs in the first six months of life. Children who are not exclusively breastfed for the first six months are always in and out of hospital with recurrent infections due to low immunity. Martha experienced that with her firstborn child. This is because immediately after I went back to work, uh, somehow I did not have enough milk for him. So I was in and out of hospital because of ear yeah, infection, tonsils, a cold when he goes to school. He catches anything, everything. And so for the second born, I wanted to, to do away with that. So I had the will, I had the zeal, and I said that I need to exclusively breastfeed this baby. Exclusive breastfeeding has many long-term health benefits for both the mother and infant. It protects against diarrhea and common childhood illnesses such as pneumonia and may also reduce the risk of overweight and obesity in childhood and adolescence. Ya kwanza nilikuwa nikisa na kumba mtoto chakula kama machi kama tawa ya kinyeche na mtoto aku na sita ya tumbu kila saa wakati Research has shown the critical role breast milk plays in the formative years of a child's life. The World Health Organization recommends that exclusive breastfeeding be done for the first six months of a child's life. After that, complementary foods are introduced. However, breastfeeding should continue up to the age of two years. Unfortunately, this does not always happen. In Kenya, career mothers like Martha find themselves facing numerous challenges when they have to go back to work and leave their babies at home following the end of the three months maternity leave. It was a bit hectic because uh, already fatigue is getting into me. Waking up early every day in the morning, it is not easy. Going to work, traffic jam in Nairobi, you know, it is crazy. So in my fifth month, I was not able to complete uh, breastfeeding the baby. What happened is that uh, I got up to three weeks. Uh, this is because I'm already fatigued. 
I'm not expressing as much as I used to do. The baby is already feeding on more than before because you see now he's at five months and so the baby has grown and wants to feed more. Um, this is how uh, we came about uh, thinking of career women for exclusive breastfeeding. I had to rush back home because the baby has already fed on the milk that I had expressed, which he finished at around noon. I had bought a formula milk for emergencies. Unfortunately, my baby did not like the formula milk at all. So what happened for about three to four days, he used to starve until I get home at five o'clock. Yeah, that is when he used to breastfeed. So um, I resorted to buying milk from uh, the supermarket. I tried several to see which one he wants. At work, many new mothers suffer engorged breasts and the agony of finding a place to express milk. Many organizations do not have the facilities to allow new mothers express milk privately and comfortably and store it for use when they get home. And just like Martha, new mothers have to make do with office stores, parking lots, and sometimes even unhygienic places like toilets. This leads to them abandoning exclusive breastfeeding. I used to go to a place, uh, it's a store. We don't have a set up place where we need to exclusively uh, to express the milk, uh, but it was comfortable and it was private that I could at least do it. Yeah, so I was lucky to have that small area to at least exp uh, express uh, about two to three times in a day, yes. Um, what I did is that uh, I used to have uh, some containers that I stored milk with. But then again, I found that uh, that is not good enough because also uh, we don't have a fridge in the office to put in the milk. So what I decided is to buy some zipper bags to put the milk and then wrap it nicely and put it on the floor. Yes, so that you know the floor is cold. Yeah, it will make it, uh, it, it will preserve it until you get home. Few organizations, however, are now investing in the well-being of their employees and are also making their environment more women-friendly. Most corporates are facilitating new mothers with breastfeeding centers at work. They have discovered that mothers who are able to express while at work and safely store the milk are more productive. This has also seen a high turnover in employee retention. So for the first month that I got back to work, I did it. I expressed milk very well and the baby breastfed very well. So now at this stage, the baby is now three months. So I continued with this. And all the time my colleagues used to make fun of me. Um, are you still working? Because all the time maybe I'm in the kitchen warming my tea. I've gone to express milk. I'm out again to maybe have lunch. So most of the times I used to be out of my desk. But then again, I used to recover. And when I sit down, I have to work and make sure that I do the uh, expected work. So this is what happened. The third month, I was able to exclusively breastfeed the baby. The fourth month, the same way. Now I'm um, in the fifth month. It was a bit hectic because uh, already fatigue is getting into me. Waking up early every day in the morning, it is not easy. Going to work, traffic jam in Nairobi, you know, it is crazy. Safaricom is widely known for its crash. A state-of-the-art child daycare and nursing room which is fully equipped in a hygienic and private environment for expressing and breastfeeding. Nestle East Africa recently launched a breastfeeding center ahead of the breastfeeding week which starts on the 1st of August. The Kenya Red Cross also has a nursing center at their premises which is located near the tea break room to allow new mothers conveniently have something to drink and express milk and store it safely in a freezer. The room also has different literature on the benefits of exclusive breastfeeding, a coat hanger where mothers can hang their clothing and avoid any mess. Deputy Secretary General Abshiro says that 
This is our breastfeeding room for our mothers. Yeah. We have a young population, of course, of young women, you know, and so we made sure that they have a space yeah. within the breakout room mm -hmm. to ensure that they, they breastfeed exclusively. Kenya Red Cross, of course, really respects the dignity of the woman. Mm -hmm. We are champions for mother and child and, and, and maternal health yeah. and child health, and therefore what better way than to provide space for the young moms to to, to breastfeed, to express their milk, mm -hmm. preserve it in the freezer, mm -hmm. keep it at the end of the day, and they go back home and continue to, 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 to provide much needed nutrients to their children. So basically, mm -hmm. this is a small way of saying that we value our mothers, mm -hmm. uh, we value our children, yes. and that we will give them an opportunity to, to have space within our organization to, to, to breastfeed and to, to express. Mm -hmm. To ensure that women continue to provide the much needed nutrition for the first six months, Martha Kim Kung has launched a campaign on social media by the name Career Women for Exclusive Breastfeeding. This campaign is aimed at um, campaigning for all mothers, career mothers, to exclusively breastfeed their children. It is also aimed at supporting and promoting six months exclusive breastfeeding and educating all mothers, both in urban and the rural areas, the importance of breastfeeding. I am sure probably 99% of women who are working are experiencing the same thing because uh, they really, for me, I wanted to exclusively breastfeed my baby. Several women MPs locally and internationally have been seen breastfeeding their babies in Parliament with our very own Laikipia Member of Parliament, Sarah Korere, who carried her baby to work and taking breaks in between parliamentary proceedings to go nurse. Argentinian MP 37-year-old Victoria Donde Perez won global praise when she was seen breastfeeding her 8-month-old daughter while attending a parliamentary session in Buenos Aires. As the world marks the World Breastfeeding Week, the Women Alliance for Breastfeeding Action, WABA, is calling for concerted global action to support women to combine breastfeeding and work. This year's theme is Working Women and Breastfeeding.